Hi, I'm here in my Minecraft survival world. As you can see, I've been spent about 1000 days in this world, and sadly I just died, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm at diamond armor now again, but I need to breed some villagers, and I thought I might as well make a video on how to breed villagers, because you guys seem to really like my... Okay, let's get this guy out of here. You guys really seem to like my short about uh, why your villagers aren't breeding. And now I need a mending book, so... I thought I might as well show you in this video. So starting off, a villager has four different things that it can get. It can have 10 beetroots, 10 carrots, 10 potatoes, or 3 bread. Now in this video I'm just gonna use bread because I happen to have a lot of it. But yeah, starting off I'm gonna give it to the villager. He might already have some in his inventory because villagers do have an inventory, believe it or not. And now there should also be this guy. Now I'm gonna keep him there because I don't want to really risk my mending villager dying. However... I will give this guy some bread. And I'll also take his bread from the chest. And so now, because these two guys, as you can see, uh, don't look too much. You can see they have the bread. Which means they will ultimately make a baby villager. And there we go, I think we got one. We sure did, there we go. And now we're gonna trap these two guys in here. I'm a little cruel, yes, but I want to keep these villagers alive. It's about this guy, the mending villager, and those two that are in this village. So now you, of course, just need to really give them a lot of bread. I will actually drop a couple more. And then I will also give this guy some bread. Make sure the villager baby doesn't take it, because uh, you don't want them to take it. And he's out of here. Okay. Now, like I said in the short, if you guys can't get them to breed, then it might be because you don't have... Well, I don't have cheats on in this world, I'm an idiot, but... But it might be your game rule. Mob griefing has been set to false. This means that it counts as griefing, uh, taking items, which is right by Mojang, but... Uh, yeah, it's a little bit annoying with the villagers, because you can't have creepers not exploding and villagers still breeding. That just doesn't work. So now it's really just about waiting. You might as well throw some more bread to someone else who you know that you haven't given to at least. So this guy has three bread. This guy definitely has three bread. And then in here, I think they both escaped. Wow. In here, we actually have another one, which is kind of cool. So we'll drop some bread for him. There we go. I'm going to fly over here real quick and get myself some wood. I don't have an axe, so this is gonna take a while. These guys are talking, we're not gonna disturb them too much, we're just gonna make ourselves some slabs, because as you can see, by putting slabs like this, we can actually make ourselves a composter. Now this is actually a super useful block, because, well, it makes a villager a farmer. You can see that guy over there is now a farmer. This means that if you have carrots, potatoes, or beetroots over here, He's going to naturally breed with villagers. So I'm going to use some of my bone meal to make sure these are all grown and ready for the villager. He does do it automatically. And yes, that does count as more grieving as well. Now this guy is moving out quite quickly, which is not good. And that's probably because we do not have one major thing we need, and that is beds. Yeah, I think I took a lot of the beds for finding the dragon from this village. So I'm gonna, oh. For the most part, I recommend de letting them do their thing, you know, not interfering too much with the whole breeding thing. While we're waiting for the iron to smelt, I might as well tell you guys that no, it's not gonna be a shameless plug of subscribing because that's stupid. But what I was gonna say is that in 1.20.1, we on Bedrock Edition also have the ability to crouch officially half a block. Which means we actually can make vents and stuff, and we also have trapdoor crawling, I'm fairly certain. I might as well check that out. Still doesn't look like we have it. And also another thing to note is of course, protect the villagers. Seriously, you do not want to end up in a situation where all the villagers are sleeping, they're not big enough of a village to make an iron golem, and they just die. 
that is like kind of bad. Okay, this guy's chilling in there. I'm not gonna take anyone's bed. That's rude. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, so it's morning. There's still husks, so you're gonna want to make sure you protect them, especially if it's in a desert village. But what I was gonna say is that villagers don't breed if there's not enough beds. But as you can see, we started off in this video with two villagers. The Fletcher and this guy. Now we've got a farmer, a baby villager, and then I think there was another one. Now a villager takes about 18 minutes to become an adult. And uh, this guy is about to kill him. Don't do that. But villagers will not breed if there's not enough beds. So that's why I'm trying to now... Well, I'm first gonna make shears, but now I'm gonna start looking for some sheep because I need wool so I can make beds. That is an adorable baby llama. There seems to be another village over here, which I guess I could take some beds from because uh, I don't think there's gonna be any villagers in here. Whoa. Half a bed? That it... I'm keeping that 100%, but there's like beds everywhere, what? Some people like to just absolutely spam with beds in one single house to get a lot of villagers, but personally that kind of goes against my morals and I really don't feel comfortable doing that. As you can see, we're not gonna look any extra, but uh, we have another baby villager, thanks to the new beds we put. You can see already, because we placed more beds, you can see there's already Another lovely conversation down there. And there we go. We got our third villager. So you can see that there's not really that much of a cooldown on how much the villagers can breed. They really... They can do it quite often. And once again, because we have this farmer now, he will automatically make sure that the village is constantly getting new villagers, which is super useful. But before we end this video, let me show you how you can do this in the long run. This is Super Pro, and it's a world I've spent over 300 hours on. And almost 1000 days, as you can see. Now, in here, I actually have multiple places where I have villagers. This is one of them. Now, I've run out of space for the houses, so some are sleeping outside next to the workstation. Some more don't even have a bed. So, I'm not getting any more villagers, but here's a good example of what you can do, you know? And this village is big enough to create an iron golem. Actually, no, that's my iron golem, right? Yeah, you're mine. Hi, oh, yeah, I forgot to record an outro for this video, but there you go. How to breed villagers in Minecraft 1.20. It's really not that difficult, you just gotta get the beds right and the food right and so on. If you guys end up running into problems, then make sure to just comment down, down below, and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. So now it's time for my shameless plug. You can join our Discord down below. It, it, it's kinda cool.